I got some stuff in me that takes some, been taking some years to get straightened out. It didn't happen over now. Oh, God coming. All right. You know, I'm ready now. No, I'm not ready. Be wise. Don't be like fools, dis, uh, unwise. You see? Knowing the time, and now it's high time to wake. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's time to wake out of sleep. That's spiritual sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Paul is talking to a church back there. And so this message is for this latter house as well as it was for that first house. This is a latter house. It was that house back there, the first church with the latter church. We're the same church, but with the latter church of that church. Same message. Night far spent, day is at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the arm of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness and in chambering and wantonness. Not in strife. That that word can show up again. Not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to do what? Fulfill the lust of it. To fulfill the lust of it. See? So there is some, uh, some awakening. Back to uh, Matthew 25 here. I was, these uh, virgins. While they all slumbered and slept. Two ways to sleep. Songs of Solomon uh, 5 and 2. Uh, talks about his, the beloved of God, uh, verse 1, uh, well, actually, I am coming into the garden, my sister, my spouse, I gather my mirror with my spice, I've eaten my honeycomb with my honey, I have drunk my wine with my milk, uh, Eat, old friend, drink ye, drink bundly, O beloved. I sleep, but my heart waketh. Now here he's talking about his heart. He's sleeping, but his heart wake. See, we're to be sleep to the world, but awake to God. I sleep. That's not, a, that's not the one that Paul is telling them. To awake out of. They were sleeping to the things of the world. Somebody said, what, you know what happened at the bar last night? Sure don't. Mm -hmm. I'm sleep to that now. If you had asked me that 30 some years ago, I could have told you. Kept up with all that. I was there probably. But I went to sleep from that. <laughs> I don't care what happened there last night. I don't care what happened over here. I don't care what's happened over there. I'm caring what's happening now right here in the church. I'm caring about what's taking place right now. I know I got a good idea what happened. You see, uh, I got a good idea what's happening. And the news is a, repeat, a repetition of some bad stuff that took place. It's happening. I told you last other night, I said the world is pregnant. It's pregnant. It's about to deliver. It's pregnant. This woman is about to deliver. Amen. But it's going to be a, uh, a judgment. This delivering is where all this stuff, Jesus said, when you see all these things, look up. When you see all these things, that's why you see like CNN, ABC, Fox, and all of them. They're just always reporting because all these things, not that it haven't happened, but they, they, that woman, when she get ready to have a baby, the pains is get closer, the uh, contractions get more rapid. Is she getting ready to deliver? Getting ready to be a deliverance. And God has given us an opportunity here uh, to be ready. Just like that world is pregnant, getting ready to, uh, judgment is getting ready to fall. There's a church, a man child, a woman that's pregnant with a man child. She's about to deliver. It's going to be two deliveries. 
They're going to deliver it to God. Well, they, they are growing together. They'll be ready. That man child will be ready to face that. So, uh, you know, uh, I feel like the man child is being uh, made up right now. I believe there's somebody that's sold out right now. I believe somebody is sold out, but that don't make it the man child. It's part of it. See, there's somebody getting ready. So I told a brother a little while back, about a couple months ago, seeing different things. I said, you can see that, and God wants you to see that. But what he wants us to see is that these are the things that we need to be not doing, and here's the thing we need to be doing to be ready. Because God is putting it together. He taking one of a city and, uh, and uh, two of a family, bringing them to Zion. That's what he's doing. He's making up the bride. He's making up that man child. Putting it together. That's the one that's going to fight against this, this civil religious system that's rising up. Just like that church that was birthed back there on the day of Pentecost, they fought against Rome and all those things, that, uh, all those evils that they fought against that. Paul said they couldn't even do nothing. He said, while I was yet, he says, uh, the the, the uh, iniquity now working. He said the mystery of iniquity, 2 Thessalonians 2. He said the mystery of iniquity already work. It was already working. The, the, all this stuff, it's already working. But he who now hinder will hinder until he is taken out. That was him. That was that ministry. They was holding it back. They was holding it back. They had, they had an authority that would hold back iniquity. And when they got out of there, Rome came right on in and took over. They was holding it back. They kept a church. They kept a remnant of people together. Praise God. Holy Spirit been in the earth all the time. It's still in the earth. But that was a message back there could hold them together. Praise God. And he held a, that remnant. So they was, they was asleep to the things of the world, but they was awoke to what was going on in the church. Are you following me? See? Amen. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, open to me. Amen. God knocking at our door, said, open to me. Open to me. My sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. Praise God. God want to come in and want to stay in. Want to stay in. It's, uh, it's a tough day. A tough day. It might have been that tough when I was coming up too, but I guess I was just so in it that I didn't know it. But I feel like it got to be getting worse because it said, seducer shall do what? Shall wax worse and worse. And so it got to get worse. It got to be getting worse. The Bible is right. Seducers is waxing worse and worse. And so they waxing worse and worse. Guess what? People are getting more subdued. They're finding ways to subdue. Subducers shall wax worse and worse. So they always got something to try to subduce us, to trick us. And so, and then there's a, then the other people are asleep to the things of God. Let me not forget that. They're asleep to God. There's two sleeping. The wise is asleep to the world. And the foolish is sleep to the things of God. We just read that about Paul told them to do what? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. He didn't tell them. They were asleep. He was telling them to wake up. That's, he was talking to those, those foolish virgins that was resident in a church, an apostolic church where, I don't know, where, where a men of God was preaching a message. They were sleeping in that church. Paul was writing a letter there to them. Tell them to wake up. Stay woke. Stay awake. Wake up, nodding, knowing what's going on, sleeping. He says, and while, and at midnight, that's a dark time, at the right at the time of another day, right at the break of another day, right at the moment of another day, that was a cry made, behold the bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him. I feel like I hear that cry today. I feel I hear that cry today, go to meet the Lord. Go out to meet him. Praise God. Amen. That's not a, a 
her that just 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 a going out. Just 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 is just a going out. See everything people look for everything to be a sudden, but see, this thing is this thing has a uh has a uh, a gradual a gradual effect. You didn't just when you got saved, you might have got saved right then, but you didn't begin to be what God wanted you to be right then. It was a gradual process. See? That's why we're going out to, we, we're gradually going on to be where God wants. We're going on up to higher grounds. It, you have to prepare, yes. It's still preparation. Praise God. And then uh, when everything is ready and the time is right, Then God comes to get that, 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 that man, child, that church, that overcomer, the, those first resurrection saints. Amen. He come back in the midst of that hour. He come back. Half hour time. He come back and take that church out. And, uh, of course, we're going to face some, uh, uh, some greater tribulation. Let me say this here. We're going to face some greater times. We're not going to escape this heat. We won't, we won't experience the wrath of God, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9. God is not appointed unto us wrath. That's a difference. But God is not appointed to us wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Understand, that's a difference. See? That wrath of God is going to be poured out upon an ungodly world. But he, that don't mean that we're not going to experience uh, tribulation, difficulty like that early church did. That's why I said uh, to read the book of Acts and read what happened in that early church. Acts, you, you read about all the stuff they went through, the persecution they went through. Amen. But they made it. Praise God. People made it. Because they, 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 they had got a message, and they, they did it in a quick time because they, they had a teacher, and, they, and, they, and the little apostle took hold to it, and people grabbed hold to the message. Of course, I guess when you see somebody tell, tell a lie to an apostle and they fall dead, I guess that will do something for you. Huh? I guess that will help you out a little bit, you know. He ain't playing, you know, because judgment executed is not executed speedily. People don't, people harp. Uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. Uh, <coughs> Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, go back to verse 11 then. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. In other words, because they don't get spanked as soon as they, as soon as they do something, they don't get it. Their heart just say, okay, I'll do that again. Let me try that again. But at early church, they stood up there and said, so, so you, did you sell all the possession? Oh, yeah, we did all that. Da, 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 da. Bloop. Somebody said, uh-oh, something didn't tell the truth. Then they dragged them out. Then the husband came in and uh, the wife came in, you know. So did y'all sell the possession? Did you do all you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you lie to the Holy Ghost? You follow him. Bloop. That'll probably get some folks thinking, look here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, can, I, that probably should do a little shaking. <laughs> you drop dead, uh, lying. To, and then Peter said, why lie you to the Holy Ghost, see? They was, they was talking to Peter, wasn't they? Amen. He said, why are you lying to the Holy Ghost? Uh, <laughs> it kind of got that church ready quick. Those that are going to get ready. Oh, Simon the Saucer saw miracles and everything, and he's trying to give money to get it. <laughs> he said, you're going to perish with your money. Boy, he prayed and repented and got it straightened out. Amen. And so these are some of the things that the brothers, uh, when judgment's in the earth, 
uh, the inhabitants of the land will learn righteousness. See? And uh, I'm glad that, that kind of judgment ain't in the earth right now. Amen. But it's got to be, it, it's got to show up. It's got to manifest. Amen. For this church to finalize what it's doing. See? All this phony stuff is going to be done away with. It's going to be done away with. All the real stuff is going to be able to stand. And so, uh, uh, Matthew 25 and verse 7 says, and they, they had trimmed their, the virgin rose, trimmed their lamps. They trimmed them. We ought to be trimming our lamps right now. They said the, 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 the sharper the wick, the better the, the, the flame, to give more light. Amen. We ought to be getting our wick tr trimmed. So that we can give out more light. We won't be smoking. Fogging up the lamp. But we'll be clear. He says, uh, and the foolish, verse 8, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil. See what's going to happen? The foolish are going to mess around. They're going to be trying to get the wise oil. Because they didn't get Oil they vessel and in their lamps. They didn't have a no reserve. So they they spend it up. Proverbs twenty one and twenty. They they spend it up. You know? And uh he says, uh, for our lamps are gone out. The lamp gone out, that means you didn't get no oil. But the wise answered and said, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. That's what we're doing here right now. Is that 2323 Proverbs? Buy the truth. Sell it not. Now what you're buying and selling and sell they don't want to sell? Also wisdom, instruction, and understanding. That's, that's what you're doing here tonight. You buy. And once you buy it, don't sell it. Don't give it up. Don't sell it out for a morsel of bread. Don't sell out for a little place. Don't sell out. From, uh, hold on to what we get. Once you really get it, hold on to it. Yes. That's that just contained in the church. Some people think the wise and the foolish, the foolish are outside. But that's no, all no, that's the all church. the church. We're not talking about it. That's all foolish out there. That's all foolish outside. That's foolish in their heart. But inside the church, when you, act, when you don't do the commandments, that's a fool too. But that's all outside the church. But we're talking about in the church. This message is to the church. This is not to the people in the Calvaries and the bars and these other places of partying and et cetera. This is not to them. This is the church mail. This is what this was uh, given to. Jesus was talking to those people that was there to, to uh, uh, get an understanding. This is for us. That's what we come here for. If this was for somebody else, what are we coming here for? You know, this is for us. This is to keep our minds stirred, keep our heart pure, keep us being washed and cleansed from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit. Uh, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Amen. And uh, he says, and the foolish said, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Not so. He said, you go buy from them and sell it. Now, right now we're selling, but after the church is taken out, the Jewish ministry is going to be returned back, and they're going to be preaching this message. But it won't be the bride message. The door is shut to the bride. Just like the ark was shut. The bride got in. Noah and his church were like the type of the bride. They were saved. They went on. Other folk was, had to go through the flood. Amen. Destruction was, uh, was uh, put up on them. They got on in the ark. Those that heard the message, 